Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on Supergirl Season 4. Today we're going to be talking about the Red Dawn episode. They just released the sneak peek, and it's freaking amazing. I can't wait for tonight's episode. But also, we've got a massive, massive, and I'm talking humongous spoiler for the ending of the Supergirl Season 4 finale. So once we get to that, I will be issuing a massive spoiler warning so you can click off because I know a lot of you won't want to actually get spoiled when this is a big, major death spoiler to do with the finale. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any Supergirl videos later this year and over the summer. So over the summer, I've officially confirmed I'm going to be going to San Diego Comic Con. I'm going to be seeing Melissa, Grant Gustin, everyone. I'm going to be there. I'll be at the panels. Hopefully, I can get permission to film the panels. I'll upload it on my YouTube channel. You guys can see it as soon as I can get that out. That's going to be so exciting. So, I'm officially going to San Diego Comic Con. So, if you see me, please be sure to say hi. And I'm going to be there just enjoying myself. You know, seeing all these actors at the panels, maybe getting to talk to a couple of them, I can't wait. Also, I'm going to another convention this week, actually, and this is The Ultimates in Birmingham, England. And I'm going to be meeting Kyla Lee, Nicole Maines is going to be there, Florian Lima. There is so many people, so if you are attending this event and you're a Supergirl fan, because it's mainly a Supergirl event, please be sure to say hi and just enjoy yourself. I can't wait, they have great panels. Also, I'm heading to MCM Comic Con later this month in a few weeks' time. That's going to have Stephen Amell and everyone. That's in London again, so I'll be there. Alright, so without further ado, let's get right into this video. So, episode 21 is the penultimate episode that is tonight. So, titled Red Dawn, one of my most anticipated episodes. Because this is the episode where finally Supergirl and Red Daughter meet. And they fight. And it's absolutely nuts. I can't wait. I love the trailer so much because you see them actually fight and like I've said many times I think they've waited too long and I'm hoping she either stays on to next season or you know they cram pack it into these last two episodes and make it actually worth it but otherwise I'm a little bit scared but nevertheless apart from that I'm so excited to see them both meet for the first time and you know Melissa versus Melissa is always a good thing like when we've seen Overgirl versus Supergirl and so on. So this sneak peek is very exciting and we have to talk about it because when I saw it I freaked out and so basically what happens in this scene is Kara after the end of the last episode after the cliffhanger she's been kidnapped and it's by the president's men and so they are holding her captive because they essentially don't want this information to get leaked out there and they said you know they scrubbed Katko's hard drives essentially so I don't know Kara doesn't have a hard copy or anything anymore but then she actually fights her way out of there she gets out she breaks a chair and it's a really cool scene and she's like you mess with the wrong girl she opens the door and oh shit you have Melissa as red daughter and she's doing this amazing smirk and she's holding kryptonite and it is an amazing scene I can't wait for this because this is the first confrontation where obviously Red Daughter is meeting Supergirl for the first time and you can tell she's got her evil face on and she knows and she has this ready so because Lex knows that Kara is Supergirl Lex obviously was notified by the president or the president's men that Supergirl or Kara actually they don't know she's Supergirl but that Kara is right there they've got her and she's trying to leak this information and I think Lex is somehow in cahoots with the president and what's going on there he has the information and he sent Red Daughter so Red Daughter obviously since the last couple of episodes she's been around in America but we haven't seen her which is a big shame on behalf of the show but yeah she appears and she obviously knows about Kara, she's been studying Kara, that was Lex's whole idea, that she would become Kara and she can take her place and she can pretend to be Supergirl and cause all this manic that has happened in the later part of the season. And so with them meeting, this is Kara's first time realising, oh shit, she's actually in America, she's here to actually do this, it's not just Lex. And Obviously she found out last episode about Red Daughter, but this is like her first time and she's going to be kidnapped by her in this episode. I'm not sure if they're going to stay in the same room, but 
she's supposed to kill Kara. That's what is said in the trailer. So I'm guessing Lex has sent her to be actually killed or to, sorry, to Red Daughter to kill Kara in this episode. So, you know, just freak out about that. Let me know in the comments down below. Are you super excited for this confrontation? I think the sneak peek really teases it well. You see her. She's already, like, she's looked through the walls definitely with her x-ray vision. It's a bit weird how Kara actually didn't look through the walls for x-ray vision after she escaped. But she's definitely ready and she's got this kryptonite and she knows that Kara is a kryptonian. Unlike most of these people who obviously don't know that she's a kryptonian because she just breaks out of the chair, like, easily. So, yeah. Let's move on to the next bit of this video. And so... Moving on into the finale territory, so this week we got the Flashes finale and I'm super excited for that so don't miss that video coming out in a few days time after Tuesday night and we have Supergirl's finale the week after because as you know tonight Sunday is episode 21 Red Dawn so next week next Sunday we have the finale and Essentially, we've had lots of leaks that have been going on to do with what's happening in the finale. We've had some set photos with Nicole Maines, with Jesse Raff, Kyla Lee, Melissa, obviously. And they've been doing various scenes where we get sort of a few reveals every now and again. I made a video on it a while back. And so we know that George Lockwood is going to be giving a big press conference in this episode and Nicole Maines as Nia now is going to be there calling for unity so it seems like they wrap up the Agent Liberty storyline we have Eve Tessmacher back in America and she's undercover she's got a hoodie on and she's talking to this old lady and I'm guessing this old lady may be Lex undercover but yeah so lots of different scenes that have been shot that we've seen it seems like Kyla Lee is actually going to be acting in a relationship with her character obviously Alex and as he playing Kelly so it seems like they're actually going to be a thing it looks like they go on a date in this episode and the big thing and that's what we're going to be talking about right here this was just revealed the other day I haven't got round to it yet but now we finally are we know that LaMonica Garrett who was in the Elseworlds crossover all of you guys will remember him he played the monitor in the crossover and he teased Crisis on Infinite Earths which is coming later next season in the midway so that's the big crossover We'll get information on that as we go into the summer. But we know that he's appearing on Arrow in the finale. And we knew he was going to appear on Supergirl. Because according to leaks from Canada Graphs, you can check out his blog where he has all the information. Also follow him on Twitter. And he was able to confirm that yes, the Monitor's appearing in Supergirl's finale. And he's going to be looking over someone's dead body. And this was all shot in a studio. So there was no photos of it. But recently, just earlier this week, he updated it and he was able to get a photo of one of the schedules and it's for scene 71 of the finale of Supergirl and he's going to be appearing, that being the monitor and what it says on the calling card is monitor approaches Lex's dead corpse. Holy shit. So we know that Lex is going to be appearing in this episode, it's been confirmed by John Cryer and the people behind the show, and it's been confirmed by the synopsis and everything, so he's going to be a massive thing, but he's going to die. So is this actually our version of Lex? I mean, I think there is a really high possibility, I mean it's like 80% yes it's going to be our version, but like 20% maybe it's like Nia seeing into the future and like it's a different version of Lex. Or that the monitor is showing a potential sort of outcome that, say, Lex dies and then everyone else around them dies. So, wow. If this is actually Lex dying, that's a big sort of step forward. And I don't know if this is like Red Daughter betraying Lex and killing him or something like that. But it's not going to be Supergirl or anyone. Or maybe it is. Maybe it's like the finale. Like, oh shit. Supergirl just killed someone. Supergirl just totally lost it and killed Lex Luthor. And so the monitor shows up and warns of what's going to be happening in Crisis. I don't know how it's specifically going to go down, but we know a version of Lex is going to be dying. That is shocking. When I read it, I was like, holy shit, how could this happen? Like, this may be the final scene of the episode. This may be the cliffhanger. I'm not sure. But it all links into Crisis, and I think it's very, very exciting. So what do you think about all of this? craziness to do with the finale also 
Are you excited for the Red Dawn episode tonight where we see Red Daughter fighting Supergirl? I know I am. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.